dear Carlisle City Council, I need to talk about this pump track. Um, this isn't a big rant, this isn't like having a personal dig at anyone. Um, I'm genuinely gutted that you've built something <laughs> so terrible. Um, it's just really disappointing. It's absolutely gutting. And for, for the local community and for everyone within the city who's been waiting for a cool facility to use, it's just really sad that this is what's been made. So, um, a couple of things I'd like to address. Firstly, um, yeah, well, where to start? Okay, the use of this, this track. So, originally it was talked about being a pump track, about a BMX pump track, back in 2020. Really exciting, fantastic. Carlisle's getting a pump track. So many other cities have got one. Loads of places all around the UK have got really good pump tracks. I know that the council have been talking with CK contractors who build pump tracks. A really good company who build pump tracks. And um, for whatever reason, the council didn't go with them and decided that they would build it themselves or subcontract a local firm to do it. So straight away that caused a bit of concern. Um, but yeah. I, I don't understand how, how it goes from being a pump track to being what we have here today. Originally pump track for bikes, scooters and even skateboards. Then at some point this year during construction it's been downsized to being a cycle pump track suitable for younger users and beginners. So, I don't know, maybe like all the funding was used up, maybe, I don't know, you ran out of money or the, the contractors needed some more money or something. Okay, so you make the track a bit smaller, make the pumps a bit smaller and say it's for beginners. Problem is, this is a really difficult track. It's on a hill. You can't just pump around the track. It's really impossible. The pumps are so tight as well. Uh, the other issue is the sign though. The sign as you walk into the place, it says um, bike track. The sign says for adults, teens, and over eight years. So you're saying it's not for little kids, it's not for beginners, it's for kids who are over eight. Well then, who's supposed to use this track? Because it's, it's so unusable. Anyone over the age of, age of eight is probably not going to be as much of a beginner as under eight. I just, I don't, I don't get it. So next thing is how much this thing cost. I don't have facts and figures. I know in the newspaper back in January 2021, it said that the funding for this had been sourced by members of the local community working with council officers, as well as, as well as a grant of £30,000 from Cumbria Waste Management Environment Trust. So you've got local members of the community raising money and £30,000. I, I don't see that. I don't see 30, 30 plus thousand pounds being spent on this track. I see a bit of tarmac that's been slung onto some, some horrible like mud hills in the worst possible way. So that next thing comes to build quality. Um, there's mud all over the place here. It hasn't been swept, it hasn't been cleaned. The contractors haven't even power washed the place or done anything. It's appalling, like the build quality is terrible. So to spend that much money on something that's this terrible, I just, I don't, I don't get it. So answers on a postcard please to your whole city, thanks.